Hi there everybody. On today's video um, I have this uh, Mercedes C-Class uh, C200 compressor. This is a 2000 model W203 and um, I'm gonna be cleaning the th throttle body and the reason for that is that um, the um, engine revolutions drop a little bit occasionally as if the car wants to cut out but it doesn't actually cut out and it's very very um, rare that this happens um, but it, it is a common uh, symptom of a, thr of a dirty throttle body um, flap so I'm just gonna clean it um, hoping it will uh, make it better um, so to do that firstly I'm gonna take this cover saw okay those covers are just uh, pushed on basically so they can easily come off um, the throttle body is sitting there and I'm gonna remove those um, Allen screws there's uh, two or three of them Okay, um, loosening those uh, clips there will um, help you get the um, cover of the of the throttle body. Um, that cover there, it's also got a hose connected at the back. It's got a very thin very small hose plugged into it and the slightly uh, thicker ones so that's the thicker one the one that's got the uh, the sear clip or the jubilee clip whatever it's called get the clip all the way to the back we can pull that hole so we can uh, try to get it off with the, uh, with the screwdriver And then the 
house are very uh, small holes connected. connected under it. So I'll just try to take that off. Okay, now we have access to the throttle body there. I can see that the, um, there is some uh, some carbon formation in there. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, some carburetor cleaner. Basically, uh, it's this stuff. Air intake or carburetor cleaner. I don't know if that's very visible, but um, that part is that that's the top bit. Um, it's looking a lot cleaner now, and the bottom bit as well. Of course, I cleaned it. You just can't see much with the camera of that side. But um, basically, just get in there with um, plenty of uh, that cleaner stuff and a clean bit of um, paper or. Uh, rag, clean rag might be better than paper really um, and give it a good clean get all that carbon off um, and that should hopefully help the engine run a little bit better okay we can now um, refit this cover back on so I just put a little bit of grease on on this part here where the uh, hoses go back in and a little bit on this um, 
o-ring here it's quite a big o-ring just so it all goes in and sits nicely in there I can tighten this clip now Okay, with those three um, Allen screws back in and that hose tightened, um, don't forget the little hose at the bottom, which I've already pushed in. Uh, now this hose here, it fits uh, in a specific specific way so it's got a little uh, arrow there so that little arrow matches that little dot there And then um, on that side there's also um, a little mark so basically this little flap here needs to fit in between these two yeah. Okay, we can then refit the covers. Now we can start the car and the first time you try to start the car after after having had that um intake fluid in the uh, throttle body it may cut out it could cut out a couple of times um, but it should be okay on the on the third attempt or so or it might be okay on the on the second um, but it should evaporate by the time we finish fitting all the all the covers and things so it might just start up
Well, it seems to be running well. I'm um, gonna have to test drive it and see how I get on with it. But um, generally, uh, cleaning the throttle body cures a lot of um, idling issues. So um, I hope this video helps. Um, this is just um, general maintenance um, that you would do to your car. So I um, hope it helps. And thanks for watching.